If you need to make your team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Remember to use my discount code ELI to enjoy 6% off. Most of you guys know U7Buy for its FC coin service. Apart from FC coins, U7Buy also provides more game services like top-up mobile games, gift cards, game keys, and more. Click my link in my description and enjoy the cheapest price now. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel again. We're going to be going down the list of all the Prem teams. And we're going to be going over the tactics for these Prem teams. This next one is going to be the Arsenal 4-3-3 second variation. Uh, with a little bit of minor tweaks and adjustments. Just so we can go ahead and use them for the actual meta of this game. Because we, if we make it too identical, it's going to be very hard to play in the higher divisions. Especially me, I'm playing in the Elite Division. I got to... I gotta change it up a little bit, but I'll kind of I'll show you guys what I mean right now. There's a little Arsenal past and present team. Uh, don't pay attention to the two Evos that I'm working on. I'm just you know trying to enjoy the game, play as many Arsenal past and present players as I can and Evo them up. But this is the formation. This is the one we're going with the 4-3-3 second variation. Um, now with this formation, it is very good at counterattacking, controlling the play, and is actually very good at playing against the 4-3-3 second vari. Oh no, sorry, the 4-3-2-1. Just because this one's so narrow, uh, with this formation, you still outdo him in the middle or you outdo the other team in the midfield area because you do have a CDM. And then you have the two wingers, which can split opponent, split your opponent wide. And you also have the fullbacks that will join in on the attack. So keep that in mind. Now, it is kind of an attacking formation. So I recommend using this as your go-to formation in the game. And then once you're already like up like 1 or 2-0, oh, then I recommend switching to another formation. Uh, more defensive-minded formation like a 4-2-3-1 or something. Unless you really, really enjoy playing with this formation the whole game, which I do. I uh, saw so I'm playing in the Elite Division, got my wins for the week. So it's kind of up to you, depending on your play style, depending on if you like to pass and go, tiki taka play, or if you like to do a lot of skill moves. It's kind of up to you. This is more for the authentic play, pass and go, not abuse so many mechanics. This is, this is a big brain, big brain, basically. You're using your brain to actually play with this formation, which is, makes it more fun, at least in my experience but let's get into it uh balance 37 width this is going to be both consoles 37 width leave it there that's a sweet spot for this formation 63 depth that is new gen uh old gen i would recommend going 57 depth so we're playing 63 depth just because in real life he does have a little bit of a press i was playing with press on heavy touch and press at the possession loss makes it way too aggressive and then I was also playing the 71, 72 depth, but I'm trying to get used to of, of no more auto outside trap just because on the next game, supposedly it's not on there. I'm not sure. You guys let me know down below if it's going to be on there or not. I didn't get the beta version, so I don't get to play with it. But as of my understanding, when I've done research, the depth isn't going to be all the way up there or the auto outside trap won't be on there. So I'm trying not to get used to it and I'm starting to go back into basics because when we play the next game, Keep in mind, we're going to be playing with nothing but gold cards, not team of the season, footy cards, you know, stuff like that. So the game will be slower. So I'm starting to drop the depth a little bit more. But 63 still allows you to press a little bit more and kind of mimics what Arteta does in real life for Arsenal. Uh, build the play balance, possession. This is how he actually plays. He plays quick counterattack plays. Uh, sometimes he holds the ball, plays in the back. Um, you use the third man, the third man for the one twos, the one two threes. It's very, very good for that to pass and go, pass and go, pass and go. The possession chance creation just allows your wingers to actually tuck in a little bit more and it allows your striker to tuck in a little bit more so they can receive the ball to their feet opposed to you sending them on through balls all the time. So keep that in mind. Now, I do have some instructions that make them go forward. So they're not always going to come to you. They're just going to kind of mix and match who comes to you, who leaves, who makes the run, just depending on, on how your opponent is playing. So play balance possession. If you feel like possession is not working for you, then you can switch it to direct passing. Completely up to you. I recommend possession. If not, balance, balance. If not, direct passing. In that order. With 57, just to open up that midfield area, the midfield three. Players in the box six, that's a sweet spot. Corner, corners and free kicks, you can do whatever you want. Formation players who go where? Meta meta center backs, you know how that goes. Full backs, make sure that they're very good at attacking, defending. Uh, they're going to be overlapping fullbacks, so they are going to be joining forward. Uh, make sure they have like a whip pass play style or a ping pass or some type of passing play style. 
some defensive play style too. If you can have skill moves on your fullbacks, even better now, just because we're at an end game now. And it's just better to have players everywhere that are well-rounded. Uh, so use players like that. CDM, actually try to play an actual CDM here. So Declan Rice, uh, Patrick Vieira, somebody like that. So this one in real life will be uh, Jorginho or Thomas Partey whenever he's fit. This will be your CDM. Your left center mid will be your Declan Rice, like in real life. But in here, in the game, he's a medium-high work rate. So here, I would recommend playing a high, high work rate of player, like a box-to-box -box center mid, a number eight. Somebody that can carry the ball, like a Jude Bellingham, like a Modric, somebody like that that can do a little bit of everything. Right side, I do recommend a more fluid player, somebody that's better on the ball. So this is honestly Odegaard. This is how he plays in real life. This is the, his position. I recommend doing like a Florian Wirtz, a Pedri, somebody like that that's very good on the ball, has some defensive stats. That new Odegaard SBC will be nice here too. Somebody that can do a little bit of everything, attack, defend, finesse shots, incisive passes, ping passes, whatever. This should be your ball. Carrier, your number 10, the best player on the ball. Striker, you can either go for A, a target man type of striker, or B, just an overall marksman type of striker. I'm going with a marksman type of striker, a Lacazette. He's good on the ball, dribble, do a little bit of everything. That's what I have here. Now I have a taller play on the left side, which is Henri. Uh, this is normally Martinelli or Trissard, somebody like that. You can send him on through balls, and he'll chase down the ball. So you got to make sure you have fast, pacey wingers on the wing. And then on the right side is usually Saka. So try to play somebody that's skillful on the ball that could take players on 1v1 1v1, or even sometimes 1v2. Just fast, pacey wingers that can cut inside, do finesse shots, trickster shots, whatever. Whatever you need to get done, cutbacks, whatever. That's who you play here. Instructions. Goalie. Comes for cross. Sweep. Keep. Oh, by the way, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. If you guys like these type of videos, I will make every single Prem Team video uh, before this game ends. And then we'll go back into the meta tactics probably next next game. Or I don't know. Maybe I'll make some more meta tactics at the end of this cycle. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, I, I just want to switch it up. I just want to have a little bit more fun. It is what it is. You know, I don't get that many views posting these type of tactics. But it's more fun for me, if I'm honest with you guys. Comes for crosses, sweeper, keeper. Uh, both center backs stay back while attacking. This is where I switched it up to kind of make it a little bit more influential on the game. Not so much to mimic Arteta. Uh, right back is going to be join the attack, conservative, and overlap. Join the attack so they do go forward because of that possession uh, play style, the mentality, the one right here, the chance creation. So join the attack makes them actually go forward and overlap to add that wing. Conservative so they don't go too wide and they go almost like in the half spaces if that makes sense so that way whenever they do drop deep they will drop deep but they don't press and they're not so aggressive all the time so they you don't get caught on the over the top through balls same thing on the left back join the attack conservative overlap i understand sometimes he does play inverted fullbacks here like a zinchenko or tomiyasu somebody like that but then sometimes they also overlap so for me to make it a little bit better on the game i put overlap but if you want them to be more of like an inverted fullback then you can go ahead and put inverted on here and they will step up into the midfield area whenever your left center mid does go forward but they won't work all the way into the center mid area for some reason the ai on this game doesn't make them go all the way into the center mid, center mid area so just keep that in mind you kind of have to get adjusted and learn how to use this role if you do that if not i just recommend doing overlap it's an easier um it's an easier way to learn how to play this formation. CDM, cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. Your Jorginho or your Thomas Partey, your anchor man, your left center mid, uh, usually Declan Rice, your ball carrier. Get forward, get into box across, cover center. Simple. He's just going to get forward, do everything he has to do. Right, center mid, this is where he gets a little bit creative. Your Odegaard, balance attack, stay on the edge of the box for those finesse shots. Free roam so he can drift anywhere on the right side of the pitch and cover center. That way, this guy can be uh, doing quick one twos with your right winger a lot. So, basically, on the left side, you can kind of carry the ball, run with the ball. And on the right side, you can do a lot of quick one twos, if that makes sense. That's how I like to look at it. Your striker is going to be stay central, get in behind, stay forward. That is it. With the possession uh, mentality, they don't bomb forward by themselves all the time. Sometimes they do drop deep. Or sometimes they do run forward. It just depends. But with this, it just makes the uh, attacking AI a little bit more aggressive. And it kind of counters the possession play style or possession mindset every now and then, which can kind of confuse your opponent. Right winger, come back on defense. You can defend in a 4-5-1. Stay wide, get in behind. That's honestly how they play in real life. Uh, get in behind instruction, again, to counter the possession. 
um, the possession mentality. And same thing on the left winger. Come back on defense, stay wide, and get in behind. So exact same thing. But those are the custom tactics and instructions for Arteta's uh, Arsenal tactics. Hopefully you guys like these. Hopefully they work out for you guys. I will continue making these videos. I think Man United is up next. Then Chelsea, Tottenham, and Liverpool. And then drop down to the other teams. But yep, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.